guys hi guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> so if you are new here my name is Omotaya. i film about faith marriage relationship and lifestyle from lagos nigeria and of course every other good stuff okay okay please first and foremost you know i would do it if you have not subscribed please that red button that is looking at you right now just smash it the reason i'm doing this two things i love relationship talks right and relationship matter used to raise my antenna like like what's going on here so secondly the video that is supposed to go up today is actually on first dates it's about first dates but it's, it's, it's going to come up after this one definitely I, I find this very juicy and i mean it's so very interesting so we are just going to talk about this right now if you're interested in this conversation like who should pay on the first date is it the guy or the lady then sit back get a popcorn and zobo drink up or any other drink and let's jump right into it so from what was said like when i when i watched the video you need to see my comment it was long like pause episode i'm like god like when i finish writing i'm like oh my god i've just i've just successfully written episode for me for me it's very very straightforward you are on your own jj you are in your house i said because i like you i'm interested in you let us go out on a date the ideal thing would be i would even come to your house to pick you up no, that's Lagos. It. Where Lagos is exactly my point and that's the ideal thing right i would drive to your house you probably wear a nice dress or look nice for an evening out and i will come and pick you up take you for the date we'll have a nice time and then i'll come back and drop you but because of say there's traffic or whatever now the girl won't come like you now that's not the now point, you babe. Okay, I'll... babe if she knew she did not have money i was not interested in the guy why did she say let's do a date close to my house maybe she stays in my go because i, I don't totally, even want to be 7k over i totally you get so that let the guy do all of it but if you're interested in someone like why would someone just ask on the date you're not a robot you're not a tree you're not like you have the, the choice to say no i can't come on this date whether because you don't have one i think it's just self-respect and women I have to be respecting ourselves totally disagree totally disagree Babe, if you've not watched our video please go and watch it so basically pg is of the opinion that the guy should be responsible for all the costs that comes with the date now solutions is, the, is of the opinion that that as a lady like i mean you're interested in what whatever the thing is right that's the date you're interested in the date so if you're interested in the person or the date itself then you should also be invested in it first of all when i saw that video and i finished watching it i'm like okay this is looking like uh, like i'm just like okay i want to show my husband and i'm like babe what's up just, um look at this video what do you think it was like no it was just supportive of solutions 100 percent like it was like okay what you're talking about is the concept of who should pay for who who should pay for what abby for your tiffa if i ask you on the date for the first time and you're expecting to pay for your tiffa i'm not no, no i can't i might willingly give it to you but you shouldn't expect me to pay for it outrightly that's, that's the difference the, that's the point in my opinion i said if you don't pay for it it's not a big deal to me I that, won't... No, no that's different now in this Particular girl's case, she was complaining in pay quotes, some woe phone quotes, some That means that deep down low key, she expected the guy to pay for for the transport fare. And because the guy did not offer to pay for it, then she got angry about it because she's willingly, she, she low key spending the money for transport fare. Okay, so your point is you should not expect the money. Don't expect the money. If he comes, fine. It's not. But in the real sense, babe, in marriage. Marriage is different now. Of course, then you'll have maybe tell me. I got, I got, you know that then. It's my responsibility yeah maybe i want to pay for for you or something but we are still on a date like, okay it's, so it's only first date so the point is in expectation yes and even though we had our own argument too is of the opinion that okay solutions is right that if you are invested in it you even made an example which is that as a lady you are invited to a party would you collect it to your transport fare like the the money you used in going to the party would you collect the transport fare from the person that invited you to the party no why because you are invested or you're interested in the party right so on the second question which is what if the guy invited you for a party would you collect fear of coming to the party from the guy well i mean i'm like yes like you collect it so this is the point but then this is the point from the whole scenario number one traditional mentality or traditional mindset is the mindset that the guy 
like in any situation or in any scenario once we have a guy and a lady male and female you know, the guy should be responsible especially financially for the lady like whether it's not just in not just in marriage anything any kind of situation ship any kind of ship friendship whatever date or any out that the guy should be responsible financially responsible which also is general mindset now where i get it wrong right and where i'm supporting um solutions is this and of course where my husband was right, where my husband got it right that he's trying to explain to me is the fact is the mentality of the guy should be responsible for the payments now we're talking about transport fare you get me of course the food the guy is responsible you are the one inviting me so but if you don't you are the one inviting me so you should know that you're capable you are like you are able to that's why you invite me i sit and judge on my own okay but about the transport fare issue so it was like fine you as a person said that you wouldn't owe the guy responsible for like if he doesn't do it you wouldn't ask but it doesn't change the fact that you had this at the back of your mind like your mentality at the back of your mind is that the guy should be responsible for it so when he doesn't do it it looks like he's irresponsible that's my that so that's the mentality definitely that's the mentality the traditional mentality i'm talking about now his point is this aside from the scenario of him like if you're invited to the party and all that his point is that it shouldn't be like is his responsibility i mean you are going out on a date you are going out so even now this second example also got me he made the second example which is it was like if for example as a guy i invite you over to my house okay i invite you over to my house for a date and i ask you to cook for me would you cook for me <laughs> what as in come again excuse me no like no <laughs> i'm like so I could not, you know, I from that two points, I, I think I, I resonate with that. I would be in my mind, so I'll be like, why would I cook for you on my first date to get? So it's the same reason of why would I pay your transport fare? Now, if you if you decide to pay it, it's no big deal. It's okay, it's it's normal, it's all it's fine if the guy decides to pay it. But it shouldn't be that it's the guy's responsibility to do it, such that when he doesn't do it, it becomes a sin or it becomes it becomes or it looks like it's not responsible which is why i, I now go with solutions <laughs> so since if you are watching this i am at your back <laughs> i've changed my mind and i feel that it's right now, number two is financial independence self-worth self-respect self-value and feminism all those financial independence now, this part talks about as a lady now i'm using a lady because of the scenario we're talking about as human, whether you're a guy or you're a lady, you're supposed to be independent. Independence is is essential for every human. Now, for the scenario we're talking about, you as a lady, you should be independent. Like, for example, in this scenario, we're talking about financial, right? So, as a lady, you should be financially independent. So, it brings naturally that comes if that brings self worth, self respect, and all that that solutions was trying to talk about. You have to rely on the guy. I mean, you you can also pay for the transport fee for fee why obviously the guy that invited you should do the should pay for the food and whatever you are going to do in the date it's only a self-worth issue if maybe the guy didn't pay for the whole thing and then the lady is the lady asks him to pay for it for me personally i would not and then for example the ladies you know you have a date and you're heading out and you don't have your own cash already let me say for example obviously you will definitely have the cash to transport yourself to the particular location right but you don't have a plan or you don't have cash for maybe getting back all because you are relying that the guy is going to pay for it i feel that one is also a financial independence or self-worth or self-respect issue i mean like what if he's not paying for it so you'll be stranded now number three points is the aspect of the offer <laughs> i don't know if this english is correct the offer and the offer this is the point the person that invited and the person that is and the person that was invited now this this came in where pg said like is the guy that is inviting the lady then she, then the guy should handle all the costs and if it's the lady that is inviting the guy then the lady should handle all the costs anybody that is inviting should be the one that should bear the cost of the dates or the meeting but you know that we all know that <laughs> i doubt if that can be possible like the lady will actually do the payment so those are the points in this in this scenario okay <laughs> so i don't know if you can reason with what i'm saying but let me know 
all your comments start dropping your comments right now let me know what you think about the whole thing now in conclusion in summary this is what i like after discussing like obviously you can hear from the voice note that we probably like went back and forth on the subject matter and eventually like so it was like fine if it's a marriage they are both responsible for each other but first date i don't know you you don't even know me you don't even know my financial capa capabilities or status like that so you can't you can't like say you're billing me or that kind of mental shock cannot work so now for 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 everything what i will have to say is this what that is my reason for agreeing with solutions and my husband is is that you know the, the way they used to say maybe some 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 traditional people of course it's a wrong mentality that they will say maybe because you're a lady now in public they will say a lady and a guy that as a lady because because the guy is a man now he's a man you should respect him it's because he's a man you should respect him that i'm just using that scenario and vice versa okay so for example they used to say that to me a lot like um, sh um show my way like don't you know that you're talking to a man like maybe it's somebody that I don't even know. Maybe anything happens or whatever um, issue, and they are like you're talking to a man. You should respect the man because the man is the head. Now that's where I'm going to. Ephesians five twenty two to twenty three says that wife submit yourself unto your own husband, as unto the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, even as the Christ is the head of the church. So this is the point is that wife should submit to their own husband the husband is the head of the wife this is my point the scenario i made where um, they're like because he's a man because he's a man you should respect him no we should respect each other as human beings he's a man but he's not my head he's my husband that is my head so <laughs> so the point is that as as a first date as the guy he's not responsible for me like because the because the man is the head or the man is responsible it because we are not married there's no commitment yet so it's not like to, should be totally responsible for me but of course the normal etiquette is is responsible for the meal because i mean he's the one that invited but when it comes to my when well-being like for example sol solutions mentioned makeup dressing that so if we say that the guy should pay for the transport fee that means also be responsible for my makeup, my dress, and every other, everything that I'm going to be needing for that event. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not supposed to be. So, the, like, the normal etiquette is boy meets girl, boy, boy invites girl, girl transports herself to the place. The normal way you would go to any way other place you are interested in. <laughs> now, obviously, boy invited the girl over, maybe for lunch, for date, or whatever. Boy should, and boy should be responsible for whatever activity that is that happens in that meeting or in that meetup now it doesn't mean that when the guy when the lady is leaving the, the guy can just maybe drop her off or other taxi fire or boat or uber or whatever or give her the transport fee or whatever that's fine but it doesn't mean that all the responsibility lies on him so that's my point like it's the husband that is responsible for the wife and vice versa like she sub submit because they are already joined together the commitment is there they are married but as random like first dates there's nobody fully responsible for the other person i hope you understand my point and with this few points of mine i hope i've been able to convince and not confuse you that that every everybody have their own responsibility meaning the lady should pay for the transport fare where she's going. If he gives you the transport fare, well, fine, it's left to you. It's your decision to say, okay, thanks, and move on, okay? Or you say, oh, don't worry, I'm fine. Like, I can handle it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share this video if you like it, and comment. Let's interact in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the subject matter. And see you in my next video. Don't miss my next video. Turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when I drop another interesting topic like this. And bye. But like so, yeah, you must buy. Do the payment. You get me. So, but this, this, so, 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 so. so. <laughs>